This morning, mounting tensions between the U.S. and Israel. Officials from both countries were trying to schedule a security meeting today. But the White House postponing after Prime Minister Netanyahu posted this video, accusing the U.S. of withholding weapons from Israel. During World War II, Churchill told the United States, give us the tools, we'll do the job. And I say, give us the tools and we'll finish the job a lot faster. Biden administration officials outraged, calling Netanyahu's comments beyond the pale, pointing out only one shipment of bombs was paused due to concerns about their use in densely populated areas of Gaza. Netanyahu faces new scrutiny at home after an Israeli military spokesperson called Hamas an idea, a political party rooted in people's hearts, adding whoever thinks we can eliminate Hamas is wrong. His statement directly contradicting Netanyahu's goal Israeli military officials later walking back those comments. Meanwhile, Iran-backed rebels in the region are causing new trouble for global trade, releasing video of another attack on a foreign ship in the Red Sea. One crew member is feared dead. The attacks at sea in protest of the war in Gaza. It comes as more anti-Semitic incidents make headlines around the world. In Paris, protesters in the streets after a barbaric attack on a 12-year-old Jewish girl. And in New York City... Police have released an image of the man wanted for making shocking anti-Israel remarks in a subway train that was taken over by Palestinian supporters. And back in Washington, despite the postponement of that security meeting today, two Israeli officials are traveling to the White House for a separate meeting today.